Hello, my beautiful travel friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this is where we talk about everything flight attendant life, travel, and of course, food. And if you're interested in any of those things, uh, I'd be happy to have you. Go ahead, subscribe below, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to notify every time I upload a new video. Now, you guys, this is day one of three. I picked up a three-day trip. Y'all, it is a Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm, Fort Lauderdale, uh, San Juan, overnight y'all know how i love the warm places so uh yeah on the beach both places you cannot beat that i just i guess i just got lucky to land that one anyway i'm getting everything ready uh before i go so i have to get all of this all of this into this tiny space well i did it it may not look neat but i did it <laughs> i already put the bags in the car my bags are a little bit heavier than usual because I thought I was taking a different trip, which was going to be a four day, but got out of that. <laughs> so it, it's, it's a little heavy. I didn't unpack everything in there. I really didn't have enough time. So uh, let me get everything done around here so we can start this journey. But before um, we go, just to let you know, this is a Baltimore trip. For those of you that don't know, I am a Baltimore based flight attendant. I live in Orlando, so I am what you consider a commuter by choice. I'm going to commute up to Baltimore. Right now it is 6.27 a.m. My flight leaves at 9 something. I don't know. Um, I'm a very early person. I don't like to be late. I don't like to be rushed. So I usually give myself plenty of time just in case anything may happen. Leave something at home. Got to turn around and get it. Um, anything. That's just how I operate. I'm going to water my babies out here because I will be gone for three days. Well, really four days. So really it's the four day I'll get back in the morning so you guys I found a way um, to make room in my bag when it comes to shoes on my overnights sometimes I go out on my overnights just walking or um, just getting out of the hotel or sometimes just going to get dinner or something so I need shoes so instead of having two and three pairs of shoes check this out got these in Mexico so here's the shoe right here it's like a clog type shoe a wedge real cute right real cute real cute now check this out so you see this right here they have snaps okay now watch this watch closely now see this They come unsnapped okay so you take this let's say you have an outfit that has a you know the outfit has one of these colors in it or something and you want to look cute you snap 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 and snap so look it's like a whole new shoe right so you do the same thing with this one right here and I have other ones I bought this also so if you don't want this look then you unsnap and snap so look at this sorry about my lighting but I'm outside and it's kind of gloomy out but see that right Perfect, right? So let me show you how this goes in my bag. So these right here, so I mean, it's so simple. I can just uh, put it in this pocket right here. Look at that. Right there. The shoes, right here. Right there. It's like three pairs of shoes in one. And you can order these online, I believe. I'll look it up. If I can find the information, I'll link it below if any of you are interested. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. 
to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. of the house ah, it's always a chore the hardest part of this job is just getting out of the house into the airport hardest part once you're there good to go good to go and then I tell you guys it's going to be a very long day like I won't get to Fort Lauderdale until about um, 10 30 tonight 10 30 11 o'clock Star 94.5 on Cox Media Group Station. All right, my flight's on time. 9.25 a.m. B position so I'm working all the way in the back and um, just waiting for the other flight attendants to get here we're flying on a Boeing 737 700 series aircraft so this aircraft seats 143 passengers but I don't think we're completely full so let's get this day started because it's gonna be a long day all right so I got to get these bags right up in that overhead bin well I got it up there guys I'm working in the back this is my galley my galley so the first thing I have to do is my pre-flight checks make sure everything is present and in working condition of course I stopped and got me some coffee and I have a little bit of this left that was in my bag well from the other day which is a bear claw oh my gosh it's so good but I'm only gonna eat one of these and then I'm gonna drink a full thing of water all right the pilots arrived so I'm gonna go say hello to them Introduce myself uh, to the other flight attendants. All right, you guys, I have one more leg to work. Uh, we're in Dallas, so we had to switch planes. So now we're on the Boeing 737-800 MAX. So now from Dallas to Fort Lauderdale, and then we're done. Yeah. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Finally made it to the room. I am so tired, you guys. I am tired. We're in Fort Lauderdale. Yay! Now it's about midnight, and uh, I don't leave Fort Lauderdale until tomorrow. I think I lobby at. Let me see. Uh, what time? 6:35 p.m. The, f the actual flight doesn't take off until seven something. So. Yeah, um, you guys, I'm gonna say goodnight right here. I, I am just, I'm whooped. Um, I'll just uh, show you the room really quick. It's a nice room, I'm satisfied with it. Two chairs, um, this room has a lot of space, like empty, empty spaces. <laughs> empty, you see, you know, empty, kinda, yeah. I guess this is doubles as a desk, I guess. Um, Let's see, got a refrigerator. By the way, my bag, oh my gosh, it's totally like leaking. I gotta clean that mess up. And uh, bathroom, not bad, not bad. I'm liking that shower. All right, you guys, a good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. 
Whew, I didn't sleep long because I knew that I wanted to get up this morning to walk. <sighs> but I was just exhausted. I may go down and sit on the beach. I don't even know what the weather is like. And you know me, you guys, I need like 90s. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Let's see what we can get into. really should track um, my distance. I can do it at home when I'm walking by the lake, but um, I don't have my Apple Watch with me, so I can't track. I guess you can do it on your phone, too. Uh, I'm gonna walk some more. So, lots of people out on this Sunday. Um, way back there was like a, I guess they were having a volleyball tournament uh, back by my hotel. And out here, people are just having breakfast and taking in the sun. And it's probably going to get hotter. So I'm going to head back after I walk maybe another mile. Then I'll head. All right, so I'll take a different route back. I walked the pavement, the sidewalk, all the way down. Now I'm going to do walk the beach. I have to walk all the way down there. All the way down there. So do I look windswept or what? That wind was kicking. Gonna relax a little bit and probably watch something on um, Netflix. Well, I'm all dressed, ready for work, you guys, ready for work. One leg, Fort Lauderdale, San Juan, and done. Done. <laughs> All right, so I just got the San Juan, and uh, I wasn't gonna get a sandwich because I have things in my food bag, but I'm kind of already tired of things in my food bag, so. I got a Cuban sandwich, and I'm gonna go to my room right now, and the bar is gonna be closing soon anyway, where you, you know, order the regular food, like in five minutes, so I didn't wanna wait, so that's why I got a sandwich. time I didn't get an ocean view <laughs> oh gosh let's see what view we have I know it's not the ocean oh Jesus this time you guys I don't know if you could see tomorrow you'll be able to see better yeah the street <laughs> so here's my Cuban sandwich there we go Cuban sandwich which I don't normally like Cuban sandwiches but this looks pretty good good morning well, there wasn't much to show you today. I didn't do much in San Juan. It goes like that sometimes where you just do nothing, even at a beautiful destination. But to be honest, you guys, it was very, they said it um, rained all week, very gloomy out, and I was extremely tired. So I really slept in. Uh, I told you guys I would show you my view because it's not the ocean. This is the afternoon view of it. That's my view, got a little bitty balcony. Yep, see how the clouds are rolling in? Hopefully we're not delayed, because look at them over there. Yeah, then again, I don't mind being delayed if we get to stay here. So I'm gonna leave my room a little bit early. Uh, there's a little store downstairs. Um, they have all kinds of like beachy wear and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take a look in there, get something to eat, probably grab a sandwich or something. So I'm flying from San Juan to Orlando, Orlando to Baltimore. Baltimore is where I end the trip. We're already delayed an hour and a half, I believe, out of Orlando into Baltimore. So I won't get into Baltimore until about midnight tonight. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a hotel or just go ahead and stay in the uh, the crew lounge because my flight leaves at 6 a.m. So um, by the time I get to a hotel and get all this stuff off and do everything, it's like two or three in the morning and then I'm getting up an hour 
you know, an hour later to get my flight home. So we'll see, we'll play it by ear. I didn't buy anything from the store. I didn't want to take you guys in there with me because um, I think they get funny about that sometimes. So had another Cuban sandwich. Oh gosh, it was good. So uh, I'm just gonna wait for my crew and get on the plane and start this day. All right, you guys, so we're back right where we started. My house, made it to Orlando. But I want you guys to know, um, you know, I, I, I do my best to show you the best part of um, being a flight attendant. There are ups and downs, pros and cons to everything. Same with being a flight attendant. Um, uh, yesterday was, mm. <laughs> it wasn't fun as far as um, me uh, going back to Baltimore and I didn't want to get a hotel room for a few hours. That was ridiculous. So I did stay in the lounge. I stayed up the whole time. Um, I could have went to sleep, but I really don't feel comfortable <laughs> in a lounge, okay? My flight uh, to Orlando was leaving at 6.30 in the morning. Got on that flight. I slept on the flight the whole time to Orlando. So that was like about two hours, something like that, approximately. Um, so yeah, I'm home and I'm gonna get out of this uniform that I've been in. I could have taken my uniform off and flown in just regular clothes, you guys. So those are options. It's just that I just chose not to do it. So if you made it this far on this video, congratulations. If you like this type of content, flight attendant vlogs, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. It'll help the algorithm on YouTube to help other people find me. And I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye. A little different than all the rest. I quite old fashioned wear a hat, sometimes play chess. And when I'm